When we look at a project, it's kind of a fresh blank slate, and we try to find things that resonate with not only ourselves, but our clients and potentially even the community. Every time we design a building, we look at it as borrowing space from nature, and so it's kind of up to us to do the best job we can to take that space and make it something that's uplifting to the people that inhabit it. We come from an area that is, has, a, has a large wood industry uh, and, is, and is known for it, and so we think it's important for familiarity and for uh, just you know, connecting with people that live here that projects employ wood wherever possible and not just in a superficial way but in a structural way typically. It's always a talking point amongst our clients. Everybody in this area has a belief that it's important to their life. A lot of our projects incorporate cedar, Douglas fir. We're very fortunate to have access to these materials that we can incorporate on the outside of the building but also on the interior side as well. We generally choose to do BIM, whether or not it's required. Uh, mostly we do it just as a matter of choice. One of the big challenges that, that people think about design is that you're trying to convince somebody of the value of what you're presenting. But realistically, although that's important, we're actually trying to convince ourselves. Because if you can convince yourself that your design is actually good and you've done a good job implementing it, then you're going to have a lot of confidence in that design and be able to present it well to others. Very early on in projects, pretty much every type of project that we do, we get into three-dimensional aspects of, of the design. And we use that for a number of different things. We test concepts, we look at options. As we design, we're finding errors because of the three-dimensionality of the project. We can see different things that we wouldn't see in a 2D context. And so having the ability to look at a, a design uh, under a BIM workflow allows us to have more confidence in that design and allows us to present it uh, in a way that's beneficial to everybody. We do almost everything entirely in Vectorworks. So whether I'm you know, designing the, the outside of a building, whether I'm designing the inside of a building, if I'm working on the details of it, it can be done entirely in that software. We do all of our door schedules. You know, we're doing all of our elevations, all of our finishes schedules, you know, the, the actual floor plans, the RCP. We don't have to bounce between multiple different types of software to be able to execute a project. And it makes it easier for other people in the firm because they can look into one location to find all the information they need based on that one project. Typically on a project, we're using space objects just to simply take programmatic elements and essentially provide options for the client. What that also does is it allows us to control the process a little bit. Often clients want to see some great design right from the get-go, and that's not really a realistic proposition. <laughs> and so having something like the space object that you can at least show in 3D and maybe put on a site model, that kind of thing, allows us to control the discussion in terms of where the project is going and focus on what's important at that phase in the process. We use space objects at the start of projects all the way to the end of the project. So if we're inputting, let's say, the finishes for a room, you know, we can go into that space object, update it, and know that the worksheet will update automatically as soon as we refresh it. It's not a matter of us having to go in double check it or manually type in you know, what the, the product code is or the finish code for that room. It's entered in one location and updates across every worksheet that we have that's relating to that finish or that specific worksheet. It's never nice to waste your time having to change every single element that you put into a project. So using symbols and being able to just change the one instance and it changes on all of them. So it's one of those things that I think we all appreciate a great deal when you're not having to manually input all of that information. We have to produce different types of drawings at different phases of the project. And sometimes those drawings continue through different phases and sometimes they're either discarded or a new, a new workflow gets set up. And so when we look at the software, we try to think, what do we want to accomplish and how does this particular software allow us to do that? And again, with different features that you know come up 
from year to year to year, that workflow changes to achieve those ends. And sometimes the ends also change as, as time goes on as well, whether that's because of requirements from municipalities or just our, our own design aesthetic or whatever it may be. And VectorWorks has enough flexibility to allow us to make the changes we need to make to continue our workflow in whatever direction it's going to take.